Yeah, hello again everybody, and welcome back to Fujit's Blitz, with me, Fujit. Hello. Today is Christmas Eve, it's the 24th of December, and for those of you who celebrate Christmas, and even for those of you who don't, Christmas is meant to be a time for goodwill to all, yet it always doesn't appear to be that way, especially when it comes to Blitz. Don't worry. This isn't a video on toxicity. Crikey, we have enough of those videos out there. But it's about how influencers can encourage toxicity. I have said many times before that YouTube and such platforms are incredibly powerful tools. In fact, they are more powerful than some may think. Influencers are called influencers for a reason. They influence others. And YouTubers have at their disposal a very powerful platform to send out messages. And that platform does and will influence other people out there. Sometimes not for the best. Now one of the problems we have as people is that we tend to view everything and everyone from our own perspective. We generally fail to recognise that we are all different, that we do not all strive for the same goals or targets, be that in life or the game itself. Some out there, in fact I would argue the vast majority of the Blitz player base, is actually not interested in getting a light blue or purple win rate, or even achieving 2000 plus average damage. They just want to play a game, have a bit of fun. Nothing more than yet that. Yes, I get it's frustrating to have players on your team who are indifferent. You don't really care or just don't have the required skills or knowledge to play a certain tank or a tier well. That's life, I'm afraid. So deal with it. Stop whining. Stop moaning. I've seen some videos hit recently by far more successful YouTubers than me moaning and complaining about players and teams and I then look at the comments whereby everybody jumps onto that bandwagon expressing their total support. Thing is, this can cross over into the actual game whereby players who don't perform are thereby singled out and they're basically bullied but it's okay because they're merely following the lead set by the successful influencer. So it's all good realistically. Now let's get something straight. This game of ours is exactly that, a game. And it is open to literally all walks of life. There's no rule, written or unwritten, that states to play this game, you need to have a certain skill level or a certain amount of real life wealth or even be able to body it. It is literally open to everybody. What annoys me is that players less capable than ourselves tend to be singled out, bullied for want of a better word. And the YouTube community applauds this as if the YouTuber expressed something truly unique rather than just put out a video that for all intents and purposes is I'm so good at this game that I should only be getting amazingly good players on my team and I will moan loads if that doesn't happen. I mean, that's called entitled bullshit. In all games you will win some and you will lose some. And at certain times of the year, especially during events, you will have players in your team who are trying to get some free stuff. Players who are not on the game 24-7. Players who just like to roll out in some pixelated tanks and have a little bit of fun. Now where is the problem in that? Well, the problem is actually with us. Because we don't want to hurt our precious stats. So we pick on less abled than ourselves. Which is bullying. I mean, there's no other word for it. Bullying is basically someone who picks on someone less able in order to hide their own feelings and insecurities. That's exactly what bullying is, and that's exactly what you find in Blitz. Thing is, as I said at the start, 
This sometimes comes with a big green light from influencers. Yet they themselves do not see this. Or maybe they do and they're not interested. They're only interested in the amount of views or such they will get. I always struggle to understand why influencers who have professional level stats then harp on about their stats, be it win rate or average damage, and call out those with lesser stats. Ironically, only a very small proportion of the player base has truly amazing stats, earned by skill and practice, and as such, it should be expected, therefore, that the vast majority of the player base will be at a lower level. Now, if your stats are really that good, then you have the knowledge, the experience, the ability and the skill to guide your team. And you can use your skills and ability to turn the tide of the battle. Not always, but sometimes. The thing is, I very rarely see that. What I generally see is these influencers saying literally nothing in the game. They don't offer any guidance. They don't tell tanks to go here or there or do this or focus that tank. In some cases, they do nothing other than their own thing. No doubt in the belief that everyone in their team has some kind of psychic ability to read their mind or something. Which, I hate to say, isn't the case. People don't have some kind of psychic connection to you. So you therefore need, if you really want your team to succeed, to impart some of your knowledge, experience and skills onto your team. More importantly, sending out a message that it's okay to belittle others is, in my opinion, not good for the game overall. Because it increases the level of toxicity. After all, what's good for the goose is good for the gander, surely. I get that teams can be bad. I get that some players are truly shocking. But what gives you, or even me, the right to belittle them? To attack them? To bully them? Nothing. Simple as that. There is no right given to those with more skills than others to attack those with lesser skills or ability. By all means, express your frustrations. Like when you call for a certain move, if you call for a certain move, and your team sits at the back and watches you doing nothing. Express your disappointment within the team in a reasonable way, of course. And whilst it's bloody pointless, those players you suspect of being truly awful for no other reason, like, you know, they just AFK and they do nothing, downvote them, not that it achieves anything. Don't get me wrong here. I also rage. I'm not sat here telling you that I am some kind of saint or angel or something. But I don't rage in the game chat, unless, of course, somebody rages at me first. And even then, I don't use certain words. And I certainly don't make videos belittling players, unless they are trolls, who deserve to be belittled. You know the ones I mean. Those who go out of their way to block you for no reason, other than the fact that they're dicks. I myself came to the conclusion long ago that our game is filled with all kinds of people, with different abilities, different skill levels, and the whatnot. And I personally have no entitlement at all to expect others to play the game I want to play. Alas, I will no doubt get some backlash for this video, either from the influencers themselves, who think I'm having a dig at them personally, or from their subscribers, who also think I'm having a dig at their heroes. Ironically, I haven't named any particular influencer, so those who do take exception to this video will just be proving the point of this video interestingly enough. Regardless of what you may think, this is a time of year whereby we should be looking to be more accommodating towards others. Christmas, for those who celebrate it, is actually a time for giving and being kind to our fellow humans. And it would be a lovely Christmas present if we could all be nice to each other over this period, instead of being toxic entitled pricks. With that in mind, Merry Christmas to those who celebrate it, and to season's greetings to all, regardless of your beliefs. We only have a limited time for this festive period, 
it's gone within a week. So can't we just get on and be nice without all of the toxicity and the baggage that comes with it for just a week? If we could see out 2021 being nice to each other, it would be lovely. Anyway, I've been Fuji. By all means, comment and everything below. And as I said, Merry Christmas to all those who celebrate it. And season's greetings to all others, regardless of what beliefs you may have. And remember guys, it is just a game. So stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking. Because really, at the end of the day, that is what it's all about. Having fun and being happy.